we look at um, part B of question 2 now. Here, it says, write as a single fraction and simplify. You have 5P. <coughs> Five P plus two over three minus three P minus one divided by four. All right. Now you can do this using the LCM. Draw the line. Find the LCM. It's three fourths twelve. 3 into 12 goes 4 times, 4 times all of this at the top, right? <coughs> so it's 4 times 5p plus 2 minus 4 into 12 goes 3 times, 3 times all of this. 3 times 3p minus 1. Now, if you multiply out, you're going to have 4 by 5p gives you 20p plus 4 twos, 8. You see that? What you have is 4 times 5p. And then you have 4 times 2. 4 by 5p, 4 by 5, 20, and you have p plus 4 twos, 8. Then minus. Now you have to be careful at this point when you have a minus sign. I advise you to put a square bracket there and just deal with this part. Because the minus outside the bracket will affect the sign of everything inside the bracket. So just deal with this part inside here first. Three trees, nine. P minus is positive 3 times 1 prime negative 1 positive 3 times negative 1 give you a negative 3 all right all over 12 now we we'll come to this part it's going to be a 20p plus 8 remove the bracket you're going to have the 9p give you a negative 9p because it's like multiply by negative 1 when you remove the bracket same thing happen with the negative 3p negative by negative give you a positive 3 divided by 12 all right now at the top put the p's together and the numbers together 20p minus 9p numbers plus 8 plus 3 all over 12 alright let me separate this part continue here 20p minus 9p that will give you 11p 8 and 3 give you 11 all over 12 so Let's just review. 5p plus 2 over 3 minus 3p plus 1 over 4. Draw the line. Find the LCM. 3 into 12 goes 4 times. 4 times all of this. 4 times 5p plus q plus 2 minus 4 into 12 3. 3 times all of this. 3 times 3p minus 1. Then you have 4, 5, 20. P plus 4 twos 8 minus 3 trees 9p 3 1 negative 3 with the same negative sign here 2 20p plus 8 when you remove the bracket you will have a negative 9p in here and a plus 3 here so you have 20p minus 9p when you put like terms together P's to P's, numbers to number, 8 plus 3. You have 20P, and you, you take 9P away, you have 11P's left. 
8 plus 3, 11, all over 12. You have no more simplification to take place, so that is it. Alright, let's go back to the start and see another way you could end up with this part. You have 5p plus 2 over 3 minus 3p minus 1 over 4. Right? If you want to say find out how you put all of this as one fraction just like this what we did was just multiply the 3 and 4 to get 12 all right but that will give you a common factor in this case is really the highest the, the it will give you a common multiple 3 by 4 gives you 12 all right it's in this case is the lowest common multiple all right so that's what happened in this case usually you just say 3 by 4 is equal 12 and you get a common multiple here and then you just continue working your way from here all right it's really a fraction it's a matter of frac use using the principles of fraction to get out this part so review it any question you have just ask it in the comment section